It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I thought it was about time we did something a little different. We haven't done a battle video on the channel for a while and that's because I wasn't able to get hold of one of the beers that I wanted to pit against the other three and that was the Camden Stout. But we're going to do a, a stout battle today. Got the Camden Stout finally. Probably going to start off with the Camden Stout. 4% ABV, 440 milliliter can. All of these beers are draft can stouts. So they're all gonna give you that hiss, they're all gonna give you that kind of, they're all going for that kind of Guinness look and feel with the beers. So I'm gonna roll my sleeves up for this one. They're all in the region of six pounds for four cans also, and they're all in the ballpark figure of 4% ish. Let's show you the beers then. So I put two of the beers to my right, your left, which is the Forged Irish Stout from Colin McGregor. Nitro beer, 4.2% ABV. And Brewdog's Black Heart Draft Stout, 4.1% ABV. I put them to that side because I've reviewed all of these beers independently and I think I might be proved wrong it is a battle video after all I think that these are two of the stronger beers in terms of taste and flavour to my left your right is Guinness Draft and Camden Smooth so without further ado uh, the Camden's 4% the Guinness is 4.1% So interesting how each company have decided to go with slightly different ABVs. Colin McGregor being the slightly strongest beer there at 4.2% ABV. This Camden Stout is AB InBev. The Guinness is Diageo. Brewdog is of course Brewdog. And Colin McGregor, now I think that's an independent company. So let's start off then, let's get these beers out. So there's the surge. I've got pint pots for each of these beers. I don't think as long as I have a hole in my backside that I'll be comfortable tipping a beer out like that. Wondering if it's going to pour everywhere. Look at that though. Lovely surge nitro look to the beer. Carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Two finger tan coloured head. Another pint pot. Let's go with the Guinness draft. Did you hear that? Here we go. You might have doing that with an IPA or a lager. Imagine pouring a lager like that. Blood my neck would be everywhere, wouldn't it? There's the Guinness. Very, very similar, similar look. But Guinness being the original, they, I, it was either Beamish or the other Irish one, or Guinness that invented this kind of style of surge, style of draft stout. They've made it synonymous with it, haven't they, with draft stouts. So immediately, what I've noticed is the Camden has a slightly darker head. Let's pour out the Brewdog Black Heart 
this is looking slightly different. It's developing, it is developing a nice head. It is developing a nice head, but this one looks, this one looks like it's kind of, that carbonation is really rising up the glass really quickly, but more of a tan colored head than the Guinness. Look at that. Guinness has a white head. The other versions seem to have more of a kind of a creamy tan coloured head. Colin McGregor's Forged Irish Stout 4.2% ABV. Here we go. Look at this. I think the secret's out, isn't it? The secret, Guinness's secret on how to make this style of beer is definitely out. They're all able to do it. They're all able to, you can chuck the cans in and it'll produce a lovely, lovely look to the beer. So, slightly, it's more of a lighter. I think the brew dog's the darkest of the heads I think on the beers although yes no it is the brew dog's got the darkest head so let's get straight into this then I'm going to go with the Camden smooth because I reviewed it recently and I thought it was kind of thin a bit watery and I thought it needed a little bit more flavour Guinness, very similar, very, very similar, a little bit chocolatey, a little bit roasty, a little bit syrupy. Let's get into the Camden Stout then. Just a little bit thin. It's okay. It's a little bit roasty, a little bit toasty. Although admittedly, I think this time around, <clears throat> I was a little bit more rigorous with the pour, and it it seems to have it seems to have activated something in the beer. It does seem a little bit creamier than the first can I reviewed. Bitter, roasted, little bit thin, little bit watery. Not bad, it's okay. Let's go with the Guinness. A little bit sweet on the aroma, a little bit syrupy. Let's get in. More of an astringent so this is sweeter much sweeter than the Camden stout and there's a little bit of an astringent bitterness in there yeah I, surprisingly now I, I've told you I went for the Camden stout first because because I thought that was going to be the weaker of all four beers but surprisingly that it's actually a better beer putting the two this is the first time I've put Guinness draft next to Camden stout together and obviously it's AB InBev Camden and their stout it's obvious that they put these two beers together they've obviously drank Guinness next to this and they've, they've realized that 
they produce something slightly better than Guinness Draft, which I think they have. Um, the Guinness Draft is a little bit astringent. It's a little bit sweet. The Camden is a little bit more representative of, a, of a, what you would call a proper stout, a little bit more roasty. Now, let's get over to what we would call more of the craft side of, of, of if you want to call Brudo craft anymore. Let's try the Black Heart from Brewdog, 4.1% ABV. Much more in the way of roasted malt. A little bit more chocolate. Let's get in. Bitterness is off the scale compared to the first two beers. Much more of a rounded bitterness, much more roasted malt flavour coming through. Nice, but more creamier kind of mouthfeel. I quite admittedly, admittedly, I quite like Black Hat. Yeah, it's much more akin to a. It's got it's got more flavour, more flavour than the first two beers. Roasty, toasty, a little bit biscuity, a little bit bready, hoppy. It's definitely hoppier. And that hoppiness kind of offers flavour, and a lovely bitterness on the back end. Really nice. So let's try Conor Mac McGregor's Forged Irish Stout then. All of these beers, by the way, they've all kept their heads rather nicely. A little bit fruity. A little bit roasted, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it it's got this kind of slight creamy milk chocolate but with roasted malt it's not just milk chocolate of course it's, it's, it's with a little bit of kind of they've used some really good malts in this beer it's more well-rounded it's a little bit less bitter you can I know it's only 0.1 of a percent ABV but you can you can almost tell this they, they just used a little bit more quality malt, I, I feel, in the forged Irish stout. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful liquid. Oh, it's lovely. That is lovely. Pick of the bunch. Absolutely pick of the bunch. I'm gonna quickly put them, I mean, they're all, they're all looking at Guinness's market here, and they? And they're all looking to take a piece of Guinness's pie. Let's make no bones about it. This is what these companies are trying to do. So I will pair now. I've done the Camden Stout, I've tried it with the Guinness. I'm going to try the Forge Stout with the Guinness, and then we'll try the Brewdog Stout with the Guinness. Guinness Forged. It's, 
it, it's crazy how when you when you try a beer that's stepped up when there's more flavor involved in a beer like the brew dog like the forged you go back to having a sip of guinness and it it, it just has the feeling of nothing it the, 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 there's a little bit of a, a, a sweetness there's there's a little tiny bit of bitterness a tiny bit of roasted malt but but nothing to kind of write home about so a mouthful of guinness a mouthful of the forged the forged is on another level it's on another level much better much more flavor much more akin to a stout let's try the black hat versus the guinness black hat even that's just slightly kind of bitter compared to the that well no it's it, it's more bitter than the forged but the forged is just way more well-rounded it's it's pulling in every direction whereas this is just pulling in a bitter direction now compared to the forged let's try the brewdog versus the guinness bitter bitter from brewdog drinking the Guinness it might as well be a glass of milk that's the only way I can describe the Guinness after after trying the forged and the brew dog and comparing them to Guinness the, the best way I can describe the Guinness is that it just tastes like a glass of cold milk I knew the Camden stout was was kind of not quite there it was a bit thin I mean that was kind of the reason why I reviewed that first, but even the even the Camden was slightly better than the Guinness. Um before I rate the four beers, before I give my ratings on, on, on these beers, I just want to say that the reason why I, I've been at breweries, I've been to a regional brewery near me in Cardiff and I spoke to the head brewer at the launch of their stout and we're going back 2011 we're going back 13 years and I remember him saying to me then at the launch of Black that the, the reason why we, we brought this beer out is we believe that Guinness is not the beer that it once was and we believe that we can challenge Guinness. Obviously that failed. That didn't work. They gave it a great push mind. And it was a better beer than Guinness. It was just who can really compete with Guinness's marketing. That's the point. Guinness and the Guinness drinker has a certain mindset. And that mindset is of, if you think of a black beer, you think of Guinness. And, and they've kind of like they, they've almost kind of like strangled the the stout market into into their own really into their own like like I just said if people think of dark beer they think of Guinness but now we have some real real challenges on the scene AB InBev the makers of Budweiser and Carlin They've just thrown their hat in the ring with a Camden style, and it's slightly better. Brewdog, they're no mugs. Brewdog are no mugs. They made a slightly better beer than Guinness. Forged, Irish style. I don't really know too much about it, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I know Conor McGregor is a, is a, is a very, very famous man, and, and, and he has produced the best beer here. He's like thrown his hat in the ring. He's challenged Guinness here. All of these companies can see 
that Guinness has a weak, pardon me, has a weakness. Guinness's weakness is the fact that they've made it so quite poor now. It's a poor, poor imitation of a stout that the bigger companies around them are going, we're going to take a slice of your pie. We're going to make a slightly better beer and we're going to try and push you and push you off your kind of pedestal. So my message to Diageo, my message to Guinness is this. You need to reverse back a few recipes, go through the history books of Guinness, go through maybe the first draft Guinness and maybe go back to that recipe. And my message is clear. Otherwise, if you don't do that, these boys are ready to take a slice of your cake. And I think they could do it. There's been small regionals who have who have thought that they could do it, but they, they, they couldn't compete with the market and they couldn't compete with the advertising spend of Guinness. But if anyone can, Camden, Brewdog, Colin McGregor, we're living, in, we're living in a different world these days. Social media with Colin, Colin McGregor, he could push that stout out to many, many people. So I'm not going to gas on anymore. I'm going to rate these beers. I'm going to start with a Guinness. Guinness for me, <coughs> after trying the four beers, is a very poor beer. Compared to the other four, it's very, very poor. It's a five out of ten. The Camden Stout... It's slightly better. Someone's banging a drum in the lane. Um, it's slightly better. It's a 6 out of 10. The Brewdog Black Hat is a 7 out of 10. The winner, the absolute winner, is Colin McGregor's Forged Out. It's a beautiful beer. And that is a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. So the Forge Stout wins. Um, check it out if you can. It was available in Asda. Um, see if it still is available in Asda for you, uh, if you're in the UK. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found this video slightly educational. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.